Have you been hearing all about the science of reading research? Are you wanting to learn more, but you're just not sure where to begin? I've got you covered. It wasn't too long ago that I was in those exact shoes. I was right there. And I've been doing lots of learning and researching over the last few years. And I'm gonna share with you the four books that I think you need to dig into as you are on this journey. Hey there, I'm Amanda from Mrs. Richardson's class, and I help teachers like you reach every child and save time at home by providing meaningful classroom resources. So let's take a look at the top four books that I recommend you start with as you are on your journey, switching and learning all about the science of reading research. So let's take a look at the first book suggestion I have for you. This book is called Shifting the Balance and it is by Jan Birkins and Carrie Yates. If you are looking for a soft place to land, if you are looking for a grace-filled approach as you are shifting away from balanced literacy and towards science of reading research and wanting to incorporate that into your classroom, this is a great book for you. It shares all about simple, small things even that you can change in your classroom that will make a big difference. Also, these gals are coming from the same place I was, which was a really strong balanced literacy background and strong training in balanced literacy. And they are here to walk this road with you and tell you all about what they have experienced. So this is a great place to start. It's a really easy read. I read it really quickly. And I'll also share a link below to the book study that we did on this in 2000, what was it? 2021, I believe. So we did a book study on this. We went chapter by chapter. We talked through all of the details and I also had several freebies along the way. So I will link to that below in the show notes. The second book I have for you is How to Plan Differentiated Reading Instruction. It is by Sharon Walpole and Michael McKenna. This is a really great place to start if you're looking to revamp your small group instruction. This book does a great job of advocating for students to not be grouped by level, but instead to really be grouped by their needs and for you to be able to meet them where they are on their own reading journey. Do some students have a deficit in reading comprehension? Do some students have deficits in phonemic awareness? Are you noticing that other students might be struggling with fluency or reading comprehension? These authors advocate for those students who have those learning gaps and have those needs to be pulled and put in a small group together so that you can meet them where they are and help them become the readers that you want them to be. This book has example lessons, lots of activities, and many other tools that will help you on your journey. The third book I have for you is... Small Group Reading Instruction, A Differentiated Teaching Model for Beginning and Struggling Readers by Beverly Tyner. This is a must-have. This book looks at the five stages of reading, emergent, beginning, fledging, transitional, and independent. This book has lesson plans, assessments, and everything you need for word study at each level of reading. This is most definitely a good one to look at as you are trying to refine your phonics instruction in your classroom. And if you're looking for some more phonics and word work activities that align with the reading stages, I have some and I'll put the link below in the comments. The fourth book I have for you is called A Fresh Look at Phonics by Wiley Blevins. And you might've heard me reference him before in another video because he's just awesome. And he knows so much about phonics instruction and what it needs to look like in the classroom. In this book, Wiley Blevins looks at the seven ingredients of quality phonics instruction. The seven ingredients make up a framework for how phonics instruction should look in your classroom. He also talks about some common pitfalls in phonics instruction, which, I don't know about you, but I most definitely can relate to as I reflect back on my time in the classroom. This book has tons of lesson ideas and tips for you to use right now as you are on your journey and making the switch from balanced literacy to a reading approach that embraces the science of reading research. This is an easy read that is practical and helpful. He breaks down everything so easily so that you can understand it 
and go and implement it in your classroom so that you can reach every reader where they are. So I hope that's not overwhelming. And if you're just not sure where to begin, I just encourage you to pick one book. Just pick one, dig in and start. It's going to benefit you and your students in the classroom. Change just one small thing and then keep going. And when you're ready, change another thing and then keep going. It doesn't have to all be done at once. You can take your time as you are implementing new strategies and new approaches to teaching reading in your classroom. We are lifelong learners who will always be growing friends. Give yourself grace as you are learning new things and applying them in your classroom. Let me know in the comments below, which book are you most excited to read and dig into? Or did you join our book study in 2021? Let me know how it's going. I would love to hear from you. One small thing that you can change is making the switch from using leveled readers to decodable readers with your early readers. We have made this easy for you. So if you wanna know more about what those lessons can look like, if you want something done for you, if you want us to come alongside you and hold your hand as you're implementing this, we have made that possible and easy for you. Click the link below that I've shared in the comments and you can take a look closer at our decodable reader kits. They have everything you'll need to deliver a lesson that is aligned to science of reading research. Okay, friends, now that you know where to begin as you are digging into the science of reading research, click the video that's on your screen now so you can keep learning and keep growing. Your students are going to benefit so much from this. And if you found this video helpful, I'd love for you to like and subscribe so that more teachers like you can find it and can keep growing. Have a great day. It is by Jan Birkins and Yari Cates. Carrie Yates, Oh My Atlanta.